Hello my little rose petals and my little rose thorns. Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Delicious Emily's True Love. So in the last part we decided that Jean-Paul might actually pop the question who actually knows if he will or not because I am so convinced that he is going to propose to Amelia, Amelia, however you say her freaking name. And I, for one, am not a fan. I'm not happy about it. I'm going to cry. I'm going to ugly cry. You ain't going to see it, but I'm going to ugly cry. Ugh. I'm already emotional. I'm already emotional. It has been an emotional week. It's been a hard week. Ugh. I don't need this in my life right now. Anyway, so let's get into the game. <sighs> a bitter blow. I don't like this, guys. Ready to get away? No. Because <laughs> I already know what's going to happen. <laughs> Was you Jean-Paul? I'd go anywhere. No, Emily, don't. Don't do it. It's a trap. <sighs> oh, what? Oh, what happened? What were you doing? Someone's will stop by to drop off some things we need for our big weekend. Oh, what? Can I talk to this? I have some errands to run. Can you keep an eye out? Of course. Why won't that stupid kid shut up? I can't run a decent restaurant like this. <gasps> Excuse me? Uh-oh. I told you, didn't I tell you guys? There, it was just a splinter. All better now. <gasps> what did I tell you guys? He's horrible. He's awful. Ooh. I knew it. He's also probably a cheater. I bet he's a cheater. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be so angry. What is this? This looks like tilapia. I don't like that. Tilapia on red sauce. Uh-uh. Not a fan. Okay, well, let's get this. So, it is now the crunch time for me as it is almost, um the end of February and I am still getting videos of this finished so that way um, it'll actually just be a February series which I only have four more episodes of this to do I believe I kind of calculated it out um, considering that I'm doing about three an episode it's looking like um, I uh Oops, I need the lobster. Um, it is looking like I only have four more episodes to do since, yeah, I'm doing three levels an episode and there's about, there's ten episodes per, like, chapter, as I like to call it, so. Yeah. Oh, I always forget the dead on lobster. Crud. Alright, we'll get that fixed. Oh, I thought, okay, never mind. So anyway, so I do have a lot of things planned for March, which is extremely exciting. Uh, one being another Nancy Drew episode. I'm going to um, kind of talk about a few things about the Nancy Drew episode because I'm having a lot of technical difficulties getting um, the second game of the series to run just because it is older. But I'll explain all that in another video. Probably the release of the Nancy Drew video is when I'll explain all that. But do not worry, guys. There'll be Nancy Drew regardless. I know some of you really are pumped for that. I've got a few Nancy Drew fans on the channel, which is always nice to see. Okay, go ahead and give that to him. No, no, no. Oh, I was going to get it right after. I hate that. He just needed to wait like a second longer and I would have been able to... Get it. All right, and we gotta do two more deliveries, but it's okay because um, it's not the end of the day yet. Okay, I'm like looking for that delivery man. So yeah, what was up with that whole Jean-Paul thing? Did you guys, I mean, he was like horrible. Why won't that stupid kid shut up? Um, I'd be like, excuse me too. That's a bit much. That's 
Apparently he does not want kids, guys. That's questionable. Ugh, give her the Dagon stuff. Okay. And then give her that. Oh, so how have you guys been? It's been a day or two since I've recorded. I'm still doing a lot of bulk recording. I've got some stuff to definitely catch up on. Um, I'll be catching up on so many things here soon. But yeah, how are you guys? Oh, gosh. That should be it for the deliveries, I think is what she said. I clicked out of it. My bad. Okay, bread and that. Give to that kid. Okay, there we go. I totally... This is why I cannot talk and play this game. This is, like, insane. Um, okay, two of those. I love this music. This music is so... It is so French. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I was just... Okay. Don't randomly click. Oh, and it's burnt. Okay, well. Whatevers. Alright. I'm glad this game doesn't penalize you money-wise for burning things like some games do. I really hate that because then you're like really feeling the pressure. Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. All right. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm actually like faster than the level right now, which is good. Oh, I should have done. Okay, that's fine. Souffle. Okay. I still haven't figured out what that is. I really want to know what that is. Souffle. I guess we'll just check you out. And then grab whatever. It looks like it looks like snot. Like it literally looks like snot on a rock. Is it clam or something? I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Jean Paul, I Emily, I need to postpone our weekend together. Is everything okay? Fine, fine. It's just an old friend from university is here in Paris on business. I haven't seen him in years, and he's only in town for a short while. You understand, yes? I understand, I think. I'll make it up to you soon. Very soon. I promise. Uh... Wait a minute. Did you guys see... Oh, wait. She had a suitcase to go out of town. That... That makes more sense. Okay. Um, can't buy anything right now. Is Jean-Paul getting cold feet? No, I think that he's not, never had the feet to begin with. So, yeah. Uh, Nadia, have you seen Jean-Paul yet? Oh, he didn't stop by or call last night either. I'm starting to wonder if he changed his mind about proposing. Was it something I said? Something I did? I'm probably just overthinking things, but still. Uh-oh. No, thank you. I don't like pepper jelly. Oh. Thanks, Nadia, for trying. I don't like pepper jelly. That's disgusting. Uh, did y'all just see that? How they went, like, different ways to the table? Okay. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or what. Um, so also, you guys, I've been thinking about trying out some new things. Um, since I started using OBS, I'm wondering if maybe I should start using another um, type of recording thing for, like, a separate audio track for my voice. Um, so I'm wondering if I should look into Audacity. I know a lot of people say to use that, 
But what, I mean, I don't know what Audacity actually does. Does it just, is it a way to just enhance your voice? Is it just so you can have a separate track in case you need to want to record um, no audio on your games? I'll have to look into it some more. I need to do some research on it. I just figured I'd ask you guys because you guys are probably more knowledgeable on that topic than I am. Which is fine. Okay, let's see. Because I'm I'm really loving the audio output that I have going on now with OBS. I'm just wondering if I can make it better because I'm always looking to make things better. Especially for you guys, since you guys have to be the ones to listen to me drone on and on about crap. You have not been waiting that long. You really have not. Like, I gave you your stuff. You were not waiting that long. I know you weren't, because I just gave you that stuff, and I went right up there. Like, there was no reason to get snotty. Gosh, tempers are running high today. Oh, I keep doing that. Ugh. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, <laughs> maybe I just have a temper. It's been a rough day. I've ha I had an emergency surgery and it was Saturday. So we're only open for part of the day. And if you can hear my hamster in the background, I'm so, so sorry. <sighs> I think she's drinking or he or she it is drinking. I don't know which one it is. And I don't feel like turning around to look. Okay. I turned around. It's my female. <laughs> Uh, it is nighttime here, so in their defense, I am kind of working in their hour of the of the day. Maybe you can't hear them. Who knows? I know that when I was recording with Shadowplay, you could hear them clearly, but you not, might not be able to hear them now. That would probably be another good thing with Audacity, wouldn't it? Is you guys wouldn't hear my phone probably go off or my hamster, which would be really nice. So I may actually look into that. I, just, I don't know, guys. I'm still trying to get the feel for all the technical stuff that I need for the channel and just things like that. Because I am nowhere near like professional grade. And I even was, um, I was watching videos on kind of people's technical setups and I am like very under grade from some of them. Like some person that I watch um, actually has a gaming setup and then a recording setup. So, you know, they play their game on one machine and then they have another machine strictly for the recording and the editing. And I am so under par. That's ridiculous. Now, I don't think I need a setup such like that because I don't really have a problem with the game lag except, you know, Sims 3, but that's just Sims 3. Um, that's with anything, even without recording. So, um, I don't actually know, uh, if I can fix that. I don't think I need two computers to be able to, um, game and record. And I don't really think I would need it for streaming on Twitch when I do, um, enter that realm one of these days. I mean, maybe I will. Maybe I could. I mean, that sounds pretty fancy, but that also sounds quite expensive. Um, I was giving some thought to doing some tutorial videos on maybe how to mod Skyrim and stuff like that, even though I'm not a modder, so maybe I shouldn't because I like still have to kind of look up how to mod Skyrim. Not really look up how, but just kind of like where it needs to go and stuff like that. I don't know, maybe I'm not the best for that. Okay, make sure to grab the lobster. All right, this and that, this and that, and then this and that. And then I need two souffles on the double. And then I need a souffle and then this. I don't know. Okay. Will you be patient enough for him to get his order? It's going to take me two seconds. There we go. Oh. 
I don't think I've gotten an expert in a while, which kind of stinks. Nadia, I'm going to see a friend. Would you please lock up? Oh, yeah, that. She's going to go see Amelia. Emily, I'm so glad you came by. Look. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm so happy for you, Amelia. You must join me and my fiancé for dinner. I want you two to meet as soon as possible. Sounds great. Maybe we can make it a double date. I'd love for you to meet my boyfriend as well. That's my Jean-Paul, and he's kissing another woman. How do you know my Jean-Paul? Your fiancé is... is... is Jean-Paul? You swine! <gasps> oh no, oh no, oh no. No! Guys! I can't believe it. My heart feels like I I can't breathe. Oh my god. You guys, that was like the most heartbreaking thing I've ever had to see because just the feels on that one. Like, there are people that, have, that I know and me personally that have been cheated on in their life and that is just the most diabolical thing I could think of. I mean, I'm sure if I sat here I could think of many other diabolical things, but that just... Ugh. That hurt. <laughs> That actually hurt. Wow. Will Emily ever recover? I don't even have a comment for that one. Ugh. I keep thinking it's got to be some misunderstanding that Jean-Paul can explain, but I know what I saw. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I feel empty inside. Oh, you're, you're not mad at me? Of course not. But I'm furious with that pig Jean-Paul. To think I gave up everything, my life, my family, my work, all to come to Paris to be with him. I should have stayed home where there were plenty of cute men willing to go out on a date with me. What a fool I've been. That coward isn't in today, is he? No. He has to come back to work sometime. I will have my revenge. Oh. oh, you guys. That is just... I don't know. I didn't want to be right. <laughs> I didn't want to be right. I wanted to be so wrong. I wanted it to be so wrong. Oh, I wanted to be wrong. You made Emily walk a total of 15 miles. Uh, she should progressively get happier, I think, as time goes on. I'm pretty sure. The more order she does and stuff. You'll start to notice that she gets happier. At least that's how it was. Oh gosh. <gasps> Philippe? Emily, I was hoping I'd find you here. I'm due to write a review of Jean-Paul's restaurant. Are you alright? I... I... She will be fine, I promise. You said you were a critic, eh? Please, order anything you want. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 
I would not give him anything. Oh shoot, I already picked up that stuff. Okay, grab this, sweetheart. And then check this woman out because I think she's been waiting for a bit. And we'll just go ahead and check. There we go. Ugh. Are you all right? Like, no. <laughs> oh, what if she goes with Philippe? Oh, you guys, that would be awesome. What if her and Philippe start dating? I mean, I don't... I still don't like Philippe, honestly. Like, I think he's a creep. And I think he was super rude to her. And just, he's way too suggestive for my liking. But, I don't know. I wouldn't... I wouldn't mind if they got together. I feel like Emily needs something, you know? Oh gosh, get this, get this, get this, get this. I forgot that it'll burn. Okay. Oh, crud. That was just gonna be really bad. Um, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and check him out because I feel like they're getting madder faster. And I don't um, really approve. Okay, go grab this, and then we'll just check these two out together. Um, there we go. Alright, and then grab this, and then we'll just hit their table. And then he wants lobster. Okay. Okay, now I feel like I am not fast at all. this and this sorry guys this I'm actually like focusing which is why I'm not talking because this is a little intense right now see he already comes you know already like irritated did you see that he already comes like almost mad but he wasn't waiting that long I feel like some of them come like mad So the food inspection's done. There we go. Alright. Whew! Gosh, that was like intense there for a minute. Because he's ordering, they're all ordering, and he orders like pretty quick. Like, he writes his little review and then he knows what he wants. So... So hopefully he doesn't... I hate when it interrupts you like when you're in the middle of an order. Because that screws you up like big time. And you really don't focus on the story. You're more focused on, oh my gosh, I gotta get this order. You know what I mean? Okay. I wish I knew what these sauces were. They look kind of good. There we go. Target reached. Anyway. Oh gosh, that really sucks. Like, did you see that? Guys, did you see how sad she was? Oh my gosh, that was absolutely heartbreaking. Ugh. I, you know, when I was growing up, I've only had three boyfriends in my lifetime and one of them is my fiance. I didn't date in school at all. I was like the weird girl and again... No one really wanted to date, like, the voodoo chick, as they called me. Um, so, which is not true. I don't even really understand what voodoo is, but. <laughs> um, so, and the first boy I ever dated was what I would consider a bad boy, which is probably why we got together. And he cheated on me several, several times. So, it's not, um... It's not fun. And it makes you lay awake at night and wonder, like, why? So, that just... Ugh. Plugs at the heartstrings. Plugs at them. 
All right, little girl, hurry up and order so I can get... There we go. All right, let's see what he's got to say. Oh, this is intense. Here's the menu. I'll take that. Oh, my exact face is Nadia's face. Are you trying to kill me? Oh my gosh. You, Jean-Paul, what kind of restaurant are you running here? As far as I'm concerned, you can kiss your two-star rating goodbye. Do you realize what you've done? You've ruined me. How dare you speak to me like this after what you did to us. It's not my fault I love women. What can I say? <gasps> if you love women so much, try treating them with respect. Guys. Emily totally just went postal and pushed him in the pool. Did you all see that? She went postal. Oh my gosh, but good on you, girl. Good on you. What's next for Emily? Hmm, let's find out. Hi, Nadia. I just came to say goodbye. Jean-Paul isn't coming in today, is he? No. I'll help as much as I can before I leave, okay? Hmm. She's still sad. I mean, I don't blame her, but look at her little sad face. Ugh, breaks my heart. Alright, let's get two of these. We'll poke it out of the suitcase. I love how there was like a suitcase mix up again with her suitcase because someone else had it. That cracked me up. It's like, who else would have such a suitcase? Because that is not exactly stylish. Oh, goodness. All right, and then we need to get some of this. Thought I heard the mouse, but I don't see it. So we'll have to look into that. I don't see a mouse hole, which means it's going to pop out of somewhere that is not a mouse hole. Go and check him out. Alright, so go ahead and throw another lobster on there. We need some water. Grab that. Oh, now I heard it. There it is. Alright, and then I need some of this Go over there. Okay. Multitasking for the win. I love how actually, I mean, it really lets you um, go very far ahead in your queuing up uh, things to do, which is great. That's what I really love about this game is that it's easy in that aspect because you can queue up so much and then you can figure out kind of where you're at in regards to orders. There we go. Oh goodness. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do everything that's in front of us first and then go grab those because that is a far walk for all that nonsense and that takes time. Whereas that little interaction right there takes two seconds. <laughs> oh my goodness. How are we doing? Good. Okay. Oh my. I feel like I'm not very talkative today, guys, and I am sorry. I'm just so, it's been a long week and I'm very, very, very tired. And I even took, it's not like I'm like tired that I need to go to bed. It's just, I'm like mentally just drained of everything. It's just like, 
I don't know what it was about this week. I think because we had a lot of doctors out of town or like conventions and things. And then um, our one doctor went to the Olympics and um, the Winter Olympics. And so I feel like we've just been like overbooked for days. I mean, we are booked until Wednesday and we've been booked till Wednesday since this past Wednesday. So you can imagine how hard it has been to get people in. And we are a hospital that supports six doctors, which means we see over, I would say easily over, um, I mean, just, I mean, thousands of clients, thousands of clients, you guys. So, oh, it's just so hard. And what really grinds my gears is when people wait like 10 days to call and say, oh, my cat hasn't pooped in, in about three weeks. And you're like, uh, what do you mean? It's just like, you know, and that's kind of the point where it's like considered an emergency. So it's even worse if they haven't peed because then, especially if they're males, because they can block and blocking can kill them because they cannot urinate. So... It's never pretty when things like that happen. Uh, and the fairly horrible thing is, is that we had three blocked toms come in in like a two day span. And that requires, you know, surgery and things of that nature. And um, it's just been hectic on the limited amount of doctors that we have had to do that because then those cats stay with us for a couple days like a couple days like they do not go home and so it's very stressful on them stressful on the owners because they can't have their babies home but it's very serious so and of course the process of unblocking a cat is just like some have to end up being turned into females and then others get to pee through their belly button instead of their urethra so the more you know <laughs> The more you know. Probably could have waited till she was done ordering, but we'll just let it go. All right, you finished the Fort Restaurant Holt Cuisine. Amelia. Amelia. I really think her name is Emily. Emily? Well, this is it. Time for me to go home, I guess. Oh. Promise to write, okay? Remember, we promised we'd be at each other's weddings, right? Don't hold your breath. Oh. Love is the flower that grows right in front of you. Can you imagine how hard that is on her to have to go home and tell her family that she's not going to get married? <sighs> Will the broken pieces of Emily's heart forever remain in Paris? Ugh. Kai. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. In the next part, we will continue on for the last chapter of this game and hopefully mend the broken pieces of Emily's heart. So if you like this part, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you, my lovely little rose petals, in the next part. Bye, you guys. Mm -hmm.